Talking about allergies, so many people have problems with allergies and children too. I'm so glad you're here, Dr. Dina Kulik, pediatrician, to talk about allergies. First of all, what is an allergy? Allergies are hypersensitizations to the immune system from various things in the environment that normally don't cause any symptoms at all. So things like pollens and mm -hmm. dust mites and molds that cause a particular reaction for a given person that's pretty predictable over you know a whole population. Can we develop them later in life? Absolutely. Why? Absolutely. So ongoing exposure, ongoing sensitization can lead to symptoms over time. And what can we do mm. about them? Should we just take so that over things. the counter medication? Is that okay? Mm. So yeah, so antihistamines are a great, you know, product. There's lots available on the market. But I like environmental control first. So keeping the windows closed, keeping the allergens outside of the house. Okay. Using a HEPA filter can help filter out the allergens What's in your space. What's a HEPA filter? They connect to your furnace or to like little, you know, industrial things inside of each room mm -hmm. that filters out those allergens, traps them inside. You know, recently, um, well, within the last year, last year, um, my son definitely had something going on mm. with, with allergies. And we didn't know what it was. We took him to a pediatrician and they said, well, you know, just take the over-the-counter right. medication. And I said, well, don't we want to know mm. yeah. so we can, sure. you know, take matters into our own hands? Right. We insisted, we had to mm. insist, we, we found out that he was allergic to dust mites. Right. So now we've, we've taken the matters into our mm. own hands, right. washing the sheets Perfect. more than regular, yes. um, constantly dusting, right. and, and and actually even got a new bed. Right, okay. We went that and far. Mattress covers and pillow covers, because also Same trap thing. them inside, yes. We did, we got the special yeah. mattress covers, and Perfect. that is this what people should be doing? Yes, absolutely. I mean, you want to keep them out of your space, so cleaning frequently, like you say, keeping those windows closed, keeping mattress covers or pillow covers on to kind of trap them inside your mattress, because mm -hmm. especially dust mites, they live all over our space. Places. Excess drapery, rugs, carpeting, trying to get rid of that stuff, um, you know, stuffed animals in, in kids' rooms, they, those harbor a lot of allergens. Yeah, oh, we've got those mm. too. Right. Is it okay to just keep washing them? Yeah, if you keep cleaning them yeah, or vacuuming them. And should you go as far as to take the carpet right out and maybe put hardwood or a different kind of for flooring? Some people, for some yeah. people, that might be helpful. Yeah, we did yeah. that too. We did right. everything. Mm. Uh, now let's talk about um, uh, pollen. Right. So hot, now is high pollen season, yes. so a lot of allergy sufferers are really suffering this time of year. So again, keeping those windows closed, using a saline eye drop or a steroid eye drop, a steroid nose spray, a saline nose spray, kind of get rid of those from your nose, from the eye. Sometimes I find it mm. difficult to distinguish which, between a head cold yes. and an allergy. I it used to think, hard. oh, it's a head cold, it's a head cold. It wasn't, right. it was allergies. Right, yeah, so if it's lasting a long period of time, a few months or especially, you know, even if a few weeks, there's any fever associated with it, that's much more likely to be a head cold or a viral illness. If the congestion is green or yellow versus clear, like in allergies, you're okay. thinking more about a virus. Are there people who are just hmm. allergic to everything? Many people are allergic yeah. to many different environmental Those allergies. Poor yeah, people. Yeah, they, yeah. Now, I don't know if they still do this, but mm. they did it when I was a kid, and I don't think they do. But I used to get a needle no. every single yeah. week for allergies. I yes. used to go in. I used to call it needle night in right. Canada, yeah. <laughs> and I thought that I had gotten rid of the allergies through those needles. Do they still yeah. do the needles? Yeah. So immunotherapy or, or um, allergy shots, as we call it, what you're doing there is injecting a small amount of the allergen into the skin a little bit over time, once or twice a week, and then less frequently later on. Okay. And that will develop almost an immune response or a way to not have such significant symptoms over time. So do you do, do it on a case-to-case -case basis? Yes. Would you see a patient and say, you know what, I think this, this child or this adult should get yeah. a needle? Right. Yeah, sure. So if the symptoms are persistent despite over-the-counter and prescription medications, that's a, that's a, you know, a good candidate for immunotherapy. Okay. So then you could maybe, you know, build up an immunity yes. but then later in life because I told you that I had the needles later right. in life all it of a sudden I'm like I've got allergies again how right. did that happen I thought right. I took care of that problem when yeah. I was young ongoing sensitization again you might need to reboost those that immunotherapy what are some gen yeah. so, give us some general information that you could give to the public who are suffering right. from allergies right now and what they mm -hmm. can do right so again keep those windows closed use the air conditioning to keep everything out and you know try make your space a you know healthy environment for you using the HEPA filter cleaning your space but then leaving the space for a good half an hour or an hour afterwards when you clean you bring a lot of allergens into the into the air so if then you go into the space you're going to breathe all those in oh, okay. so clean and go away until everything settles on the ground and then maybe come mm. back in later yeah especially oh. sleeping and you know children with allergy symptoms you don't want to come back into the space too quickly
Excellent. Good yes. information. Yeah. So for more information, uh, you can obviously follow you. I love mm -hmm. I love your, um, actually, I love your website, drdina.ca. Mm -hmm. And you can follow Dr. Dina on Twitter, and it's at Dr. Dina Kulik. And, of course, we're going to have all the information on breakfasttelevision.ca. Thanks for helping Thank us out here and giving us a little Thank bit you. more information on allergies. Very interesting stuff.